my darling, did I embarrass you? I'm so sorry, but romance ruled my brain. The, the maiden being rescued from banishment by her knight. Maybe I shouldn't have asked no. you, but it is 90. Julian, that's not the exactly. point. Exactly, the point is, if we get married as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Chandler... No, Julian, will you please listen to me? Yeah, always. I will always listen to you, my darling. Now tell me. Dad, what are you trying to say? something he just said words i think he's coming out of it look at the monitor Haley, mateo may have these episodes of unusual brain activity but it doesn't necessarily mean he's coming out of his coma we have to wait and see for that we have to wait how long how long do we have to wait five minutes days hours I can't years predict. what i cannot predict i can only hope and unfortunately no come no no I don't want you saying anything negative around him. Do you understand that? I don't want any negative doom and gloom prognosis from you. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. I understand how you feel. And it is true that we doctors tend to rely too much on scientific evidence. When there's so much we don't know. Now, whether or not Matteo can hear us... He I... hears us. He hears me. He feels me here, and he's going to come back to me, okay? Okay. Okay, but there's only so much we can do. Well, then I'll just have to do it all by myself. I'll have to bring him out of it all by myself, man. I have to see Mr. Chandler right away. You can't see him without an appointment. He will see me. Where is he? I'm telling you, he's not in yet. Well, all right, then I'll wait. Oh, please do go on with your nails. I wouldn't want to interrupt your busy workload. Adam Chandler, I've got you right where I want you. <sighs> what that I did? No, Marion, no. What the devil are you doing here? Why, hello, darling. Are you ready for a uh, round two? You are completely wigged right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, the threat of deportation can do that to yeah, you. Yeah, but you don't just jump into a marriage. Scott, they won't know that's why we did it. We'll get married, we'll stay together. What's to stop us? Me, Julian, I don't want to marry you. Really? Doctors know a lot of stuff, but they don't. They don't know how to measure love. They can't put it in a test tube and they can't put it under a microscope and it is the strongest, best medicine in the world. And you are the one to give it to him. Thank you, Mark Stewart. It's gonna be fine. Mateo. It's Stuart. Everybody's waiting for you to wake up. Because when you do, you're going to see your beautiful wife smiling at you. So hurry up, okay? She misses you. We all do. Well, they're about the same. Haley will be real happy to see you. 
Listen, I, I want to thank you for everything you did last night. You went above and beyond the call of duty. Oh, well, it was, uh, it wasn't so bad. No, I, I know it was difficult for you, deceiving your brother, but everything was successful. Hayward came forward, he cleared Jake. Oh, that's great. That's really great. Yeah. How's your mother? My mother? Yeah, I thought, I thought she might be a little upset. Oh, well, not that I know of. She's such a nice lady. I just hope I didn't hurt her feelings or anything. Did you, did you two have it out or something? Oh, no, n n not exactly. Oh, because don't worry about it. You know, my mother often ruffles people's feathers. Maybe that's because people don't understand her. Well, well count me among them, Stuart. <laughs> yeah, was, she's such a pretty lady. I'm just so sorry she's had such a tough time. Stuart, I... So is there something that you're not telling me? Yeah. But I have to tell Adam first. Well, bye, Liza. Bye. That desk was just polished, so would you please remove your self from it and from my office? Yes, are you the temp that's posing as my assistant? Yes, you may take lunch now. Permanently. I suggest you do the same. Oh, you can't get rid of me that easily, darling. Easily? I've been trying to get rid of you for years. Adam! You don't have to pretend anymore, darling. Not after last night. Last night? You really want to talk about last night? Well, I don't see how we can avoid it. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. But you don't know the meaning of the word, do you? Marion, please, just go. But I... I did it for Liza. Is there no depth to which you will not sink? Me? What about you? I reacted the way any man in my position would have reacted. I do it again and more. You would? Oh. Well, I, I, don't you go getting the wrong idea, darling. That's not why I'm here. Although, uh, we are, uh, alone together in your office, and, uh, the door is, uh, completely locked, isn't it? <laughs> well, perhaps you'd like to take the window exit. I would prefer that. We're on the 23rd floor. Okay, Adam, go ahead and make light of it. Don't face up to the truth, all right? Yes. Watch the first step. It's a doozy. Okay, you want to pretend about this? Fine. But this is not going to go away, Adam. So you listen to me, and you listen good. You give my daughter a divorce. Right away. Or I tell the world everything, and you're going to be steeped in a scandal right up to your earlobes, darling. Think about how that's going to affect your public image. Hi. Oh, it's so good to see good you. Good to see you. Oh, I would have come sooner, but uh, things have been a little, um, hectic. No, interesting. <laughs> yeah, but, but good. Yeah? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, th you know, tune in. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. How is he? Uh, well, he's, you know, mostly like this, just sleeping. I always thought he's so beautiful when he sleeps, you know, don't you think? You know, he has these, um, these moments where all of a sudden the monitor that measures his brain activity picks up and he actually said words to me like he's trying to come out of it. Well, well, that's, that's good, isn't it? I think it's great, but the medical technicians, they keep telling me to keep my hopes down. Well, how can you? Exactly, I can't. I mean, I know he's coming back to me. I, I can tell, I know it. Listen to me. He has every reason to come back. Yeah. He has a wonderful family. He has you. He's everything I have. Are you taking care of yourself? Are you eating? Are you no. resting? <clears throat> no? Are you kidding? <laughs> Daddy Warden has been here with me through it all. He hasn't left my side. I mean, you just missed him. He went home to actually change his shirt and get something to eat. Well, I, then maybe I better go. 
No, no, please don't go. No, it's just that the last time I saw your father, it... it... Listen, I, I owe you an apology. What for? Remember when I told you that Adam could never change? Well, that was not a damning revelation. No, but I wish I, I had never said that. I had no right to say that because... You never know what the power of love can do for a person. Adam, change. Listen, don't get me wrong. He's still arrogant and, he, and he's still strong-willed and stubborn and everything. But, you know, he arranged for all of this for Mateo and me to be together. They wanted me in my own room, on a different floor even. Well, he's a hard man to say no to. No, but it's more than that. I mean, you know how... Things have been strained for us the past few months, especially between my dad and Mateo. But he did all of this for us because he knew how much we needed to be together. He did all of this for you because he loves you very much. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm not the only one he loves very much. Now, you know, look, what I, I'm just trying to tell you is that I know that Adam could challenge the patience of Job. And I know that he is impossible, but it's all smoke. That's all it is. And if you can just, you can just see past the smoke, you'll see what's behind it, which is his, his huge quivering heart. I mean, Stuart sees it now. Stuart's just the opposite, Haley. How can you say that? They're identical twins. They have the same heart. It's just that Adam's finally learning how to listen to his. I mean, he brought Mateo and me together and got us this room so we could be together because of his heart, his heart that knows what love is. And I think he knows that because of you. You're snuckered. It's a bit early, isn't it, even for you? I am stone cold sober and I am deadly serious. Th then you're stark raving mad. Get out of my office, or do I have to throw you out oh, myself? you don't scare me anymore. Not at all, darling. You can snarl and groan and moan all you like, but I have seen your animal nature, darling. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I felt your hot breath on my neck and your arms coiled around my body. Are you on drugs? No, I'm just bursting with hormones. <clears throat> Marion, Marion, I, I really think maybe it's time for you to go, darling. Are you feverish? We were both feverish last night. It was just raging through our veins. <clears throat> What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about last night, how we were caught up in the throes of it, Adam. Oh, please. Please get into it again, darling. And take me now, Adam, please. Just take me now. <sighs> so, what'd you think? Tonight, we honor Liza Colby and her sizzling performance.